this past Saturday if I had been here Saturday night and, and we would have got issued that storm warning, what would we have done for safety? I mean, like this past Saturday, if if I had been here and and well, you had to go in the hallway but because of, I can only do so much, I mean, I I just have to stay where I can stay. I still would have wanted you to get in the hallway and put something over your head at least. Yeah, well, $1, like a hardback book or something, something to protect your head. Because it said it was on Des Moines, Iowa. It was an F3 tornado. Yeah, it it showed on YouTube. Uh, it literally took a house off of a foundation and and it left a basement and. The only items that survived in that basement was a safe and a couple other items. But did anybody get killed? Yeah, it's a few children and a few uh, adults dead. Well, um, uh, where was that located? It said it happened in uh, Des Moines, Iowa. That's where that man that I told you that has that truck that buys and sells things. That's where they live, I'm sure. That's where their building is. I don't know if it got hit or not. Huh? I don't know if it got hit or not. Oh, I don't know about them. I mean, Des Moines is a big place. You ever been there? Huh? You ever been to Des Moines? Because some people told me in Davenport they that the sirens went off there. The sirens went off in Davenport. And Devon, yeah, well, Davenport is, is about uh, 100 miles from there, I think. I mean. Yeah, I know it's not that far away. And you know tornadoes can move awful fast, right? So you didn't hear the siren Saturday night here? No, but I left it off quiet so I could hear anything. And, and, uh, what did you leave all quiet? I didn't turn the TV on. You had it turned off or did you just turn the volume down? And if you had heard the siren, what would you have done? Huh? If you had heard the siren, what would you have done? Remember you told me the story that you were sitting right here and and you heard one go by your window and it destroyed Vev's car for it? You said you literally heard it back in 06. Oh, father. You told me you were sitting out here and you heard the wind and it... You, oh, yeah. When it advanced... Yeah, I did. When I could hear it from the window. I could just hear it right on by. I wonder if it was a, an F-Zero tornado because an F-Zero don't really do much damage. Yeah, no, it wasn't... It didn't do a lot of damage, but if it had come over another couple feet, it would have taken a lot of my rooms and house. 
Yeah, they're damaged all along there. Oh, an F-Zero won't do much damage, but the higher the number, the more powerful it is. You know? Yeah. Did you ever know there's, with the Fujita skill, they call it, it's someone back in the 70s inv invented it, a Japanese guy, it, Fujita skill, it was F-Zero through F-5. Did you ever hear about that before I mentioned it? I, I think so, honey. I think there was something about numbers, how bad it could be. And that one in, in uh, Des Moines, that was an F3. And then some other town got hit in Iowa. And then, back when I was little, if I was here, like in April of 98 that time, if, if I was here and the tornado would have got me, you would have tried to save me and it wouldn't, Jeff. Of course, honey. Of course, I usually was always right by you anyhow, honey. I just meant if for some reason you had failed to be and then it, you would have seen it get me, I, would you have tried to save me in it? Of course, of course, honey. Because in that nightmare when Manchester got hit by tornado, uh, if I had left a sign on the basement door and said, I'm at the hospital if you need anything in danger, keep out, you think you still would have went down there looking for me? Oh yeah, I, I think so, honey. If I would have put a note on the door where I was... I wasn't wild about it because I didn't know how safe it was. Yeah. And I remember you came into the emergency room crying, and then, and after I was, when they when they heard this, you, when you heard this, you're not hurt, man. You're good. You just re relieved one. Why do you think you were in the tears when it's not like I was hurt? Well, I didn't know that. I didn't know that. I mean. And then, I remember when, at the hotel, when you, you asked me if, uh, if you want, if I wanted you to stay with me, because I was shook up about what had happened in, in this nightmare, and then, and then I just remember I said generally I would say that's fine but unfortunately I need to be alone I'm shook up because I was at shock I couldn't believe what had happened you know yeah. in real life what would you have said if that was really the case and I would have said I, I generally would say that's fine but I need to be alone because I'm at shock can't believe this happened what would you have said what you mean. I mean, if you would have asked me, if that really, let's say that really did happen in 07, and then I was, and then when I was out at the American out here until my mom and Steve came back on the next day in the nightmare, you, you asked me if you could stay with me, and if that was real life, and I would have said to you, and you would have said to me, can you want me to stay with you tonight? at the hotel, and I would have said, generally, I would say that's fine, but unfortunately, I need to be alone, because I'm shook up, I can't believe what had happened, what would you have said? Well, I, I guess I would just said it's okay, honey, if you by yourself, but you probably would have watched TV and gone to sleep, because I remember the hotel staff said they'd keep the pool open all night for me because they felt bad for me that I that I was that the house was hit and why why do you think it is you had to leave the room when I when grandpa and I watched the news about it I don't know eh? you said you just didn't want to see it 
And I remember you that you asked me after the news, you said, how powerful did they say it was? And I said, it was an F3. And you said, how powerful was that? And I said, that's still pretty powerful. I said, that was between a one and a five, and that was still pretty powerful, you know? Yeah. And I just remember... I remember telling you, especially after I found out it was an F3, I remember you said you wished you had been there to help me get through it, and why was that when it wasn't worth your life? Well, I, I just, funny, I've always tried to protect you and make your life a little better and happier, so... I wouldn't have wanted to be there. And I remember telling you after I found out it was an F3. I remember saying it was an F3. And I said, especially because it was an F3. I said, that is more than powerful enough to kill you. I said, I'm very glad you weren't there for safety. And you understood my reason. Yeah. Yep, I remember I... It wasn't that I didn't want you there, it was just safety, you know? Well, I know, honey, but Grandma's like to be where you're at, honey. I mean, you know how I had to run down the stairs like that when it mm-hmm. came down just like that and that filled? Even back then, I don't think you could have ran as fast as I had to. And no, you had to hold on to really and get down I mean, I don't think you could have ran as fast as I had to. Oh, no, I, I couldn't have run as That's why I was glad you weren't there. Because I was afraid that you were going to get, you would have gotten sucked out of the stairwell. You know? <laughs> you mentioned that, honey. It wasn't that I didn't want you there, I hope you know. Yeah. It was just safety is the only reason. I'm not. He's trying to. Well, it's better if he doesn't, Brad, because he's put so much money into it, and he just. And then in uh, nightmare, uh, why do you think it is? I was glad you weren't there after I found out it was an F three. Well, because you're a caring person, honey, and you didn't want to see me get hurt. Because you know how I had to run down those stairs? You couldn't have ran as fast as I had to, and I was afraid that as as fast as that thing hit that house, it would have got you and and hurt you seriously. That's why I was a that's why I was just glad that you weren't there. That was, that was very thoughtful of you, honey. And I remember telling you that. I remember saying, Grandma, no, I am glad you were not there. I said, that was an F3, and I, I was like to you, an F3 is more than powerful enough to kill you. I said, I said I'm said i serious, an F3 is more than powerful enough to kill you. And I said, you could have got sucked out of the steel well. Of course, you know I would have tried to save you in it anyway, don't you? Right. I know, I mean. The downside is there's no guarantee I could have. I just remember telling you an F3 it's it's still pretty powerful. I remember you told me when you came down Lake Street and you saw that like if this is Manchester like what the side you're sitting of Manchester right there was okay and the side I'm on was the one that was damaged. And I remember you telling me that you you panicked when you saw the damage. Why do you think that was? Well, you you would do that, honey, when you seen a house damage. And I just remember I was telling you in the nightmare that I was very sorry you had to see it. And you said it's not your fault. What do you think you meant when I was still sorry you had to see it? Well, you I I just was sorry that you had to see it. 
And then Monica, I remember, called later and I think that some way she knew where I was. And she said, has your other grandma seen the tornado damage to your house yet? And I said, yeah, unfortunately she did. I said, but she's now since she knows I'm I'm not injured that she's relieved, so How old was you then, honey? Seventeen. Oh, you were seventeen in that in that uh... Nightmare? Because uh-huh. I remember I was mowing the yard and halfway through it because it was on a weekend in the nightmare. It was on a Saturday and why do you think it is? I was so sorry you had to see the damage. Well, you just, you're a very thoughtful, considerate person, honey, and you just didn't want me to see it in that condition. And I remember wishing I could have cleaned it up before you seen it. But there was no way I could. I was just so afraid you were going to have a heart attack when you seen it. I just thought... Where's your dad at now? 